بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله نور السماوات والأرض مثل نوره كمشكات فيها مصباح المصباح في زجاجة الزجاجة كأنها كوكب دري يوقد من شجرة مباركة زيتونة لا شرقية ولا غربية يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم تمسسه نار نور على نور يهدي الله لنوره من يشاء ويضرب الله الأمثال للناس والله لكل شيء عليم صدق الله العظيم <clears throat> As we continue in this surah, which the name of the surah is Surah An-Nur, in these verses that are recited, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about a certain type of divine light. And this is the reason that this surah has been called Surah An-Nur. Now before this, ver- before this verse, there are many rules and regulations that have been mentioned and we discussed a few of them. And then after this verse, Allah Azza wa Jal will also mention some of the other rules and regulations which has to do with the social life of individual, his conduct, how he's supposed to behave in the society, what type of character this individual has and he's supposed to have in the society. Now, Understanding this fact that this surah describes those types of actions that if a person was to bring them into his or her life, they will be guided on the path. Correct? And not only that, but their, their life will be guided by the divine light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So honesty, after that, privacy, and then after that Allah Azza wa Jal mentions about the protection of gaze. That for believers, for the men and for the women, it has been commanded by Allah to protect your gaze. By looking at something which is haram, by indulging something which is impermissible, why? Allah says, because that's more pure for you. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings the hukum of hijab, that it's very important for the sisters to adopt the hijab. Why? Because it's, it brings out their modesty. It makes them who they are. And the reason why Allah is giving this hukum to them, because Allah azza wa jal wants to protect them from many of the evil eyes that are existing on the face of this earth. And if this protection is not given to them, then indeed the attack of those evil eyes will be such that it can leave such wounds that can never be healed. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, "Anadru sahmum masmumum min sihami iblis. That an eyesight of a person, it's a deadly arrow of the devil. The person who protects it, he is indeed protected from that deadly arrow of the devil. Otherwise, it goes inside to the life of a person and it penetrates so hard that he doesn't know what happened to him or she doesn't know what happened to him, but what happened to her. In that connection, Allah brings this verse, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard. That Allah is the light of the heavens and earth. Which light Allah is talking about? Allah Himself is a light, and that light Allah Azza wa Jal puts into the humanity. And that light is the belief of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that each believer has, is Iman. Iman is the light which comes inside the heart. Now, of course, with every light of this world, you need maintenance. 
correct? You need proper electricity, you need to have the proper boost for that light to move on. It's a bulb that Allah has put inside your heart. Now there has to be some forces which makes that light bulb light lit. Otherwise, it's not going to give the light. And Allah explains it in a very beautiful manner in this verse. Because one is the light that Allah has put inside you. And then if that light is coupled with something which is very good, then indeed the light becomes double. The light becomes double. So this light Allah Azza wa Jal has put in the heart of every believer. Everyone who accepts the faith, the oneness of Allah, and con considers Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life as a life of guidance for every individual to come on the face of this earth, that light has been put into your heart. Because indeed, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that his practices, his sunnah, are also light. They are also a divine light, a light of guidance through which you will be able to walk on the path which is completely dark. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ حَافَظَ بِسُنَّةِ أَكْرَمَهُ اللَّهُ بِأَرْبَعَةِ خِصَالٍ The person who adapts my sunnah, the person who has punctuality in my sunnah, he safeguards my sunnah. And sunnah is what? Everything that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, did or confirmed? Everything that the Prophet Sallallahu said, did and confirmed, this is the sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why? Because his sending to this world to teach humanity how to live and how to implement the life of, Nabi, life of Allah Azza wa Jal into your life. So every portion of his life was guarded and protected by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. There was nothing that he did as a coincidence or he did as following a custom or he did as following the culture, no. There was nothing that in his practice that was considered culture. Or in his practice was considered a custom of the time. No. And in every avenue of his life, he explained to humanity that Allah has sent me with a message and Allah has told me how to implement his message into my life so it can become an example everyone. لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ so I can elaborate to the people what is going on. What is the book of Allah is saying? Because the book cannot be practiced or cannot be implemented without having an example in front. If you don't have an example how to implement it, how are you going to practice? Allah says, do this, not do this. Do this, don't do this. And if a person wants to look at it, in today's time, every order becomes a difficult task for a person to do so. But you have the life of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and after him Sahaba, the companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to give us the understanding that nothing in the Qur'an is impossible. And everything in the Qur'an is practical. And you are able to follow it, given it any time, any place. So Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَنْ حَافَظَ بِسُنَّةِ أَكْرَمَهُ اللَّهُ بِأَرْبَعَةِ خِصَالٍ the person who has safeguarded my practices. And we have been talking about many sunnahs of the Prophet ﷺ in regards to his livelihood, in regards to his other practices. So any of the sunnah that you hold down to, Allah Azza wa Jal entertains you. Allah gives you honor. Allah Azza wa Jal does ikram of you by four things. Allah grants you four things. Just on the basis of you practicing the sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number one, Al-muhabbatu fi qulub al-abrar wal-haybatu fi qulub al-fujjar Number three, number one, Allah will bring the love of this person in the, in the hearts of pious people. Everyone will start to love him. 
Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when Allah loves a person, He tells the angel, Angel Jibra'il to love him. Angel Jibra'il tells the angels on the heavens to love him. And those angels, they descend on the face of this earth. They tell every human being to love him until his love is spread throughout the whole world. And what, who are these people? مَنْ ذَكَّرَكُمُ اللَّهُ رُؤْيَتُهُ When you look at him, you remember Allah. وَزَادَ فِي عِلْمِكُمْ مَنْتِقَهُ And whenever he speaks, your knowledge increases. And whatever actions he does, it makes you remember that one day you have to depart from this world. These are the beloved people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-abrar. So Allah azza wa jal makes the love of this person installed in the hearts of people, the person who practices the sunnah. وَالْهَيْبَةُ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِ الْفُجَّارِ And his awe and greatness in the hearts of those who are disobedient. People will be scared to, you know, deal with him, to harm him. Why? Because he's a pious person. If I harm him, my life is ruined. If I do something wrong to him, my life is ruined. وَالْهَيْبَةُ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِ الْفُجَّارِ Allah Azza wa Jal will give him that up respect, the honor. Number three, وَالْوُسْعَةُ فِي الرِّزْقِ Allah will expand his sustenance. What are these promises for? What are these promises for? I don't want you to lose track. What are these promises for? مَنْ حَافَظَ Sunnah. The person who is safeguarding protecting, practicing the sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number one, the love of his will be put in the hearts of people, righteous people. His greatness, his awe will be put in the hearts of those who disobey Allah so that they don't harm him. Number three, al-wus'atu fi rizq Allah azza wa jal will expand his sustenance. Allah will give him such a sustenance that can be beyond his imagination. The one who fears Allah, Allah takes him out of every difficulty, provides him sustenance from the means that he cannot even imagine. And number four, التوثيق في الدين Allah gives him steadfastness to practice the religion. There will be many obstacles and many moments that will come in your life which will make you come which will make you difficult to be practicing on your religion but you practicing the sunnah of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah will give you that steadfastness that nothing of this world will be able to change you neither to move you away as long as you are practicing the sunnah of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that nur was transmitted in the life of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam transmitted that nur to the Sahaba and then move on. And then each individual's life become, became enlightened with this nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah azza wa jal mentions, مَثَلُ نُورِهِ كَمِشْكَاتٍ فِيهَا مِسْبَحْ the example of this nur that comes into a lantern and it has an oil inside and that oil has been deduced or taken out from a tree which is very blessed and which is the tree of olive. لا شرقية ولا غربية And that light is spread equally throughout the whole universe. It doesn't give any preferences to color Race, background, country, no. The light of Allah, it's equal upon humanity. Those people who practice, who have the light of Allah in their life, they have this understanding that Islam teaches us equality amongst people. We don't discriminate. We don't degrade. We don't disrespect. We don't, you know, humiliate people. We respect people. We honor them. We give them what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us. 
يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم تمسس هنار even if that light is not lit but it gives that light on its own nurun ala nur that light becomes coupled how does that light becomes coupled it becomes doubled how the nur the light of nur the, the nur of iman the light of iman is which is in the heart of a person when it's coupled with the light of quran it brings out double light when it's joined with the light of salah it brings out double light that iman when it's joined with the dhikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it brings out double light and on that allah azza wa jalla rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was explaining this he recited the verse of the quran from surah az-zumar afaman sharaha allah sadrahu lil islam fa huwa ala nur min rabbi when you have that double light inside you and your torch has become dual with two bulbs one bulb is about iman and the second bulb is a'mal one bulb is the belief the second bulb is action now you are giving a full you know full hazard light it's like a high beam and in that high beam your heart opens up and when your heart opens up indeed your heart has become completely connected with that light that Allah has descended upon you now this all seems very complicated correct so sahaba said o oh, prophet of allah how would you know that your heart has received all this because it's a very complicated matter you're not going to go inside and see where is the light and how many bulbs it exists and what type of uh, energy is coming through or what's going on no so the sahaba said ya rasulullah hal litilka min alamin yu'rafu bihi is there any sign that we can understand that all that light you're talking about has come into our hearts so that's an easy way for us to understand also so nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam said yes there are three signs if you find inside your life indeed you can understand the light has come inside you there are three signs that if those come inside your heart if, if you are, if you have those three things in your life that means understand that allah's nur has come inside you and the nur the light allah is talking about has come inside you number 1 at tajafi an dar al ghurur detachment from the love of this world your vision is about allah and serving allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what does it mean by detachment from this world you abandon your job you abandon your family you come and sit in the corner of the masjid and you say that's it i have got no connection with the world no Allah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said la rahbaniyyata fil islam there is no rahbaniyyah in islam you don't leave everything and abandon and become a monk and that's it no you do everything you go to your work you're in your house you're with your family you're going out with your co-workers you're going out for a dinner with for a, on a father's day but all that is done in the connection of what? That I am doing this because this is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm doing this because this is the order of Allah. I'm doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And any time or any given moment, a time comes where you have to separate the two. Where you have to either take the path which is pleasing to Allah, or which is pleasing to the creation of Allah, you give preference to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You give preference to that path which is loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that needs to be practiced. That needs to be practiced because everything comes in the life of a person through a practical theory. When we would starting ourselves to detach from the worldly things the love of the world is in our hearts we need to use the world for our benefits because that's the order of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
So use it, but don't bring the love inside it. It's a very difficult task. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us reminders in the Quran for us to do that so we can be protected. So number one is detachment from the love of this world. التجافي عن دار الغرور والإنابة إلى دار الخلود So when you would have the detachment from this world, the second point will automatically, it will automatically come in your life. And that is connecting yourself with the life which is for eternal. الإنابة رجوع إلى الله Going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the sign, nur has come inside your life. Inside your life. And number three, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Isti'adadu lil mawt qabla nuzuli, preparation for death, death before its arrival. What does it mean by preparation for death before its arrival? If I was to die today, did I have enough amal to face Allah azza wa jal? If at this moment my soul comes out from my body, do I have that courage to stand in front of Allah and give account of my action? Am I ready for this? Have I prepared for it? Because everyone has to do it. Either you do it today or tomorrow, but you have to do it. So preparation for that. So every action you will do in your life, you will be thinking, okay, is it gonna have a good outcome or a bad outcome? Am I obeying Allah or disobeying Allah? Everything. So these are the three signs that you have understood that the light has been downloaded into your software. And if you don't have these three signs, that means you still have to get a good connection. You know, maybe call Comcast, and give you a higher speed of internet so you can download it into your system. Right? Call Comcast and get it downloaded into your system, you know? No! We need to work for it. All of us need to work for it. It's a collective work. Every day's reminder, it's a way to, to build on that. After Allah mentions this, Allah gives us two examples. The first example is where the light of Allah descends on the earth. Where the light of Allah descends on earth. Because the light needs to be get some, you have to get it somewhere, right? If you, if you, you know, a bulb is fused in your house, it's not gonna just come in on its own. You've gotta go to Home Depot or Lowe's and pick it up. You gotta purchase it from somewhere, isn't it? It's not gonna be there on its own. So where are you going to get that purchase of, where are you going to purchase that light of nur? Fi buyutin adhina Allahu an turfah. That will be tomorrow. May Allah give us the understanding and the ability to practice. Jazakumullahu khairan.